very soon some of the very best players in the world are going to be emerging from that tunnel onto this tee for the Ryder Cup here in Italy at Marco Simeone. Just have a look down this first hole. In this video, I'm going to be taking on all 18 of them. And I say this a lot, but you have to stay tuned. This video has absolutely everything in it. God, get me in the tee. Hole in one would just solve everything, wouldn't it? Go on, go on, go on. Oh my God. Now in the Scratch Golf videos, we have score goals and today, at this course, the par is 71. So if I want to get a gold medal, I need to shoot par or better. For a silver, I need to shoot between 72 and 75. For a bronze, 76 to 79. If I shoot 80 or above, I get nothing at all. Now in true Ryder Cup fashion, I'm actually playing with a couple of guys from the USA today, Jake and Drew, who both go to Notre Dame University, both very good ice hockey players and golfers. Ah, without further ado, let's get into this. Honestly, this is going to be fantastic. Make sure you stay tuned, especially for the last few holes. They are crackers. Now on the tee, representing Team Europe, Peter Finn. Okay, fair way. It's got a fine effect. It's literally the only goal today. Just hit the fairways. Hit the fairways and we're going to be okay. That was nerve wracking enough with six people watching. I imagine when there's 6,000, it might get a little bit twitchy. I'm 183, but it's up the hill, so 190. I'm going to hit a six iron. Like the, the very brief walk around we had this morning to do a bit of filming, like right is a better miss than left. So center of the green, literally center of the green. Pretty good. I'll do. Right edge of the green. Fairways greens. Fairways greens. Go, go. What a line. Scared to hit it. I'm not sure we'd call it a nice putt, really, but <laughs> it, hey, it, it went in. It went in. It went in. No pictures on the scorecard. There is on this one, though. There's literally moving pictures. Hey, it's par. Hey, I reckon I could sell that for a decent amount of money in September. Thinking, again, just a fair way would. Over that bunker, so I've got about 250, 60 to clear that. Oh, please cut. Cut, 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 cut. Uh, <sighs> okay. Wow, it's just like, any time it's heading towards it. Whoa. It's in the left semi, but that means nothing around here. It's in the rough. 175, kind of up the hill, 185 back. That's my number. I'm aiming at the TV tower, just to the right of the pin. Can't actually see it from where I am. Ball is sitting actually really good. No, it's okay. God, get me in the team. Come on, Luke, what are you doing? That is the... Well, that was a big overreaction. I thought that was terrible. It's actually okay. <laughs> In Ryder Cup spirit, I'd normally do some gimmies, but not today.
and this is why uh, you got to keep it at the max in the semi. This is it's almost unplayable. It's so thick and so lush. Like just the 54, just trying to chop it out. That's it. I, don't, I honestly don't know what you meant to do out of that. Like, just don't miss it, innit? I suppose is the key. Right, 140 up the hill to the middle. I'm going to take a pitching wedge. I, I, it, yeah, never played in rough like this. That's come out good. Carry, 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 carry. Think that's made onto the green, but just no control, like zero, absolutely zero control. Good shot. Yeah. Oh, so it's outside the hole. <laughs> ah, take it up. Good up and down. I mean, this, this might be Strike. Cut. Come on, wind. Cut. Not moving at all. Oh, that's a kick though. Oh, go on then. Oh my God, can you imagine? Go in. Oh my word, can you imagine? Right. That's insane. That was unreal. Yeah, I'm thinking an ace, like 165 is downhill into wind. You sound like you smashed that. Yeah. I'm thinking a solid ace high and a little cut. Come on, ride a cup, hold me more. Oh, be expensive. Be, be so very good. expensive. Be so expensive for the channel. Oh, it's oh. so short. Ah, oh, no. No, oh, that's crap. Like this putt, Dick. That was crap. How am I going to make a Ryder Cup team doing that? Oh. Brute. Ah. Do we have to really go all the way back in? Yeah, I think so. So the marshal has come round and just told us we need to go in like there's some thunder lining coming in from that direction only five kilometers away so hopefully after this short intermission we will be back fingers crossed with a slightly moister course one would imagine right come on fairway 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 I'll do. Always knew it. It's good angle in from there as well. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. So 7,200 yards off the back. So we're playing about 6.9. It's quite a tactical course just because of the rough. You just, just got to hit the fairways. That's literally it. The question is with Ryder Cup courses a lot is like, is it a good course? I know that sounds a bit silly, but you can have a good Ryder Cup course and you can have a great course which will not be good for the Ryder Cup. You've got to have space for fans and hospitality. And I think this course is going to create drama, especially when you see later in the round, there's a lot of dramatic holes and like things like this over water, but get down to those comments, comment below. Let me know what you think of this course. Try and get an A time past this pin. I've got like 150. Whoa, that's deep. Yeah, very deep, very safe that. Not a Ryder Cup shot, that was very safe. That was very safe. Hold on to your hands, that's gonna be a roller coaster. We're gonna go right to left as it kind of goes up the hill. Then it's gonna go left to right down the hill. And quite a lot. These greens are just so pure though, they look amazing.
pretty cool. Oh, wow. It's not as fast as Yeah, it just needs it. Okay. Don't want to leave yourself too many of them though, do you? <laughs> wow. Back on the par train there. Would like the Birdie Express to visit. So I was going to hit, I was going to hit driver and <laughs> you scared me now. That with a three wood. Just short that bunker would be fine. On the right. Good. That'll do. Yeah. Thank you. It's not my, this isn't my game, this. <laughs> like normally it's just driver and just smack it anywhere, but these guys are just playing with reckless abandon. Like they're on a great time. I'm, I'm petrified of what I'm doing here. It does look like he should move right to it left, does, but. At the end, but it's pretty straight. Yeah, I think so. If you pull it though, <laughs> doesn't make any difference, does it? Good four. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, dear. Yeah. It's weird, but so many of these holes, like a par, absolutely fine with. <laughs> absolutely fine. One seventy. I've got a seven iron. This pin is right at the front. This is. It's not a good idea to go for it. So I'm going to go for it. Obviously, if it goes beyond great, again, this is a pin where the greenkeeper is angry, very angry. Oh, that is such a big bailout. Kick off that bank. Yeah, it's actually going to end up not too bad. There's a bank on the right hand side, but I'm sorry, everybody. That was that was a bailout. I'm playing so safe, so cautious. Drew just burned me. So you've been doing this for a while, aren't you? Missing greens. It's like, yeah. It's just a tricky one. Like a little chip, trying to feed it down. I like these runoff areas, though. You don't need thick rough. These are great. These are better. That wasn't the time to be aggressive. <laughs> oh, like that. Oof. That was an end over end of that one. You didn't those out. <laughs> I know. I just, just switch to this putter. Not when this video comes out, but over that distance, I'm actually relatively not terrible now. It's a big improvement. 520 yard par four. Three wood, great. Oh man, that'll do. That will do. We'll do it. Just imagine what it's like Ryder Cup, like pump in there. About 4,000 people like, oh, Rory, Rory, Rory. Looking over the top like, go Pete, woo. Out on my own for no reason whatsoever. Thanks for watching. Now this is what you want to see on a Ryder Cup hole. You want to see risk reward. It's hard, like this is a long par four. We've got 230 left into the middle. I could have hit driver, but it narrows up. But you want to see water, you want to see danger. You want to see like these guys playing the very best golf they can, like right on the edge. That's where you get the best shots being created. Like for me today, I mean, I'm on the edge and I could fall over, could fall off. Down, down, down into the ocean of despair. But so far, I'm holding it together. I think two overs, not too bad, considering we've not played here before. And we've got par five coming up next. This is one of those holes where I've got to wait for the green to clear. It's a very good shot. Oh, please be good. Go, go, go. Thank you. Ah, that was decent. That was decent. That's better than decent. That was literally one of the best shots of my life.
God, I love this club. Yeah, pretty much. Got to throw this up to the golf gods. Oh, hey, we're having a conversation about the golf gods and uh, lack of interest in this game because they are not granted any prayers at all. Oh, brutal. Right, this is for an eagle in normal regulation, but a birdie today and in the Ryder Cup. Par 72 normally, par 71 Ryder Cup. Go, go. I raised my club too early. I admit it. I admit it. I put my club up way too early. It looked good. I messed up. I messed up, guys. I'm sorry. God, that did look so good. End over end with the roll. I'm putting well. I'm putting well. Still too early. Right, what do we think, boys? Driver or three wood? Think driver. All right, come on. Bit of confidence. Over that tree. Bit of cut. Oh, that's such a bad swing. Literally awful. Oh dear. That's our fault. Wow. <laughs> I just... oh, why did I even ask? Why did I even ask? And why don't you talk me out of it, Kieran? Sorry, I wanted to see it as well. <laughs> you all wanted to see the chaos, didn't you? That's, you... That's all you're after. It's just impatience, that. That's just impatience. Three wood, try and squeeze a three wood up there, pitch on. It's not my type of shot either. It's a right to left dog leg. I am not renowned for drawing the ball. And it tightens up at the point where the driver would land. <sighs> Golf, it's just... God, no. I was going to be three wood, then the boys were saying it driver, and I was just like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Holy moly, mother of Mary. I am an idiot. If this comes out, then great. I'm just going to go sideways. Oh, that's it. Jeez. That's brutal. That is absolutely brutal. <sighs> right. Unless we find two fairways together, that drives in the bag. Let's go. So annoyed with myself. <laughs> 227, and it's just in the semi. Again, like control is just going to be reduced. I'm going to trust in my hybrid. I'm just going to. Just gonna trust it. It's my best club. It's my best friend. Now the miss as well is to the right of this green. So I'm gonna aim at that back bunker, try and draw it. Still got 230 middle. So I know it's a good club. Oh my God, sit down. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Wow, that came out so dead. <laughs> the, the issue is, if you miss the fairway and even if you go into the semi, Obviously, if you get a flyer lie, so that is when grass gets trapped in between the ball and the club, reduces the spin. Any time you get in the semi, it's like a, not a guaranteed flyer, but not far off it. On the downslope, open up that club massively wide, keep it open coming through, slap it down into the sand, pop it out, it's gonna land just onto the green, roll out to the pin, tap it in for an easy five. I've honestly played that so well. Too good, literally too good. That came out unbelievable. Still getting used to these wedges, but... Oh, that was annoying. God damn it. I'm gonna swing at the end as well. Up the hill, gonna go a little bit to the right. And straighten up. So we have up and down. Oh. Well, that was crap, honestly. What a Neanderthal. Part 
par four up the hill here, 420 yards. There's like a wide part of the fairway, then it narrows the further up you get. It's quite a common theme here, so again, just the three wood. A swing. Really good ball. Thank you. I'm going to go five iron, kind of at it, ball above my feet. Should move it a little bit left. I do not want to miss this right. Oh, be good. Yeah. Be good. Be good. Be good. Oh my God, that's so short. That's unbelievably short. Oh, I'm just getting so weak. These young bucks are just pounding it past me. In retrospect, that's actually quite a long way uphill. Should have just hit it harder, maybe. I don't know, it's tricky, but a false front. The last few weeks I've been playing, like me and false fronts have been not the best of friends. Just can't quite get it over them, unfortunately. Right, this is going to take a very delicate touch over the false front, open up the face, land it next to the pin, stop it there. Oh! Hit the flag, spin it back. Oh, I knew what I was doing all along. <laughs> what an idiot. I'm assuming you didn't intend for that. I did not intend that, no. Like, in any way. Accuracy's good, though, yeah? Uh, left to right. Uh... Come on, for a par. It was a good port, but it's another bogey, man. I'm slipping here. So comment below, what do you think now? Gold, silver, or bronze? I mean, gold would be an absolutely exceptional score. <laughs> um, I'm just, I'd be delighted to cling onto a bronze right now. 11th hole, now, it's kind of drivable. It's 300 yards, but it's straight up the hill and left of this green. Like we've seen rough before, that looks. Can you have a forest of grass? Is that even possible? So I'm not gonna do that. Three wood, aiming at those markers just in front of the green. Leave yourself a wedge. Play safe. Oh my God, you absolute donkey. Sit down. That is so bad. It's actually okay. <laughs> that is so bad, I've left myself a decent shot. I am so sorry that everybody had to see that shot. That was horrific. That was so bad. But you know what would be really good? It's smashing that like button to this video. Let's get this to 5K likes within the first day. That would make me feel great. You know what, this shot I've just hit, this is actually a really good layup. It's actually a perfect layup, and I've got a great view in the background. <sighs> All works out. Things are looking up. 104 yard centre, but it's uphill, so I play in 115. I'm just going to hit a little wedge. Just behind the pin, bit of spin. There's literally no point going for this green. Look at that. Jesus. Oh, be good. All right. Thank you. Oh, it's cathartic, that. Oh, that makes a difference. That was a good shot. Okay. Right. Now, this would be a good birdie. Rome in the background, you can see St. Peter's. Down the hill, right to left. Yeah. In sight of St. Peter's, I was hoping a prayer would be answered there. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Still nothing. Oh, thank you. It's another par. I am, I am happy with pars, but I'm desperate for a birdie. Like the birdies have deserted me. I can hear them, just can't do them. 
All right, five, what are we, 500 and 550, something like that down the hill? Par five, incredible looking hole. Um, like if brave enough can carry the last of those three bunkers. And I've got nothing to lose, so let's give it a bash. Carry hard. Ah, oh, in it, I think. Ah, oh, it's just out of the top, took all the spin off it, but it was just dipped out the air. God, golf, God, it just really is the most annoying game in the world. I found the bunker really annoying. If I was over there, I might be able to have a go for it, but as it is, it's just a wedge laying up, par five. Man, come on, man. A birdie. It's a good lay up here. Oh, that was in completely the wrong direction. <sighs> this is unrelenting. Might be, this might be the hardest course I've ever played. This is just so tough. So, so this is how long and tough the rough is. We've literally had to find this ball with video evidence provided by Kieran. And I've got um, 84 yard center, balls in here. I've got a 54 degree. I'm just gonna hit it as hard as I can. Hopefully muscle it over the rough, land it near the front of the green, let it roll up that bank, tap it in for a birdie. This is just, this is brutal. This is a test of everything. Come on. Use a 54 degree wedge it. Try and carry it up to that top level if I can. Never sliced a 54 degree wedge before. That was the first time, isn't it? Even used the wrong side of the rake then. Woosah, woosah, woosah. So you take a deep breath, calm the hell down. Still birdie chances to come. And only four. So, mind you, I need to hold this to stay at that. Birdie chance this hole as well. Narrow fairway, but not a long one off an elevated tee. This would be a great time to hold a worldie. Just, it's just echoing my disappointment back at me. Thanks, grandstands. Oh, I, I'm going to take myself behind the grandstand and viciously beat myself half to death, if you'll just excuse me. Hundred and 45 yards, little par three. That hill in the background with the castle on top, that's where I made pasta with a grandma and nonna the other day up there. It's very nice. As you can tell, right. She fed us well. 145, just gonna try and go a little bit beyond it and right with a nine iron. Just try and get a little bit of spin. Come on, be good. Spin left. As far as I can tell, this might be the only straight putt on this course. <sighs> For a birdie, come on. Oh, it's gone left. And long. We say three gimmies? Yep. <laughs> In Ryder Cup fashion? In Ryder Cup fashion, yeah. Why not? Take him away, boys. Come on, drive. If you want to see the light of day again, <laughs> come on. We've been, we've been in this well. I have been in this well. Come on. Bit of confidence. Same line over that tree. Just... 
biff the absolute crap out of it. Come on. Yeah, again, I hit replay, hit the ground before the ball then. What's happening to me? <laughs> what? What's happening to me? What? I mean, the last few weeks I've been not playing that great, but I still thought I'd have been good enough to get a bronze medal. There's still time, because what am I now? So I'm six over, it's a par 71, so I've got three shots to play with. It's gonna be tight. Do you think I can do it? I reckon there's about 12 inches of grass under that. <laughs> uh, we got 170. Oh, just, ball's well above my feet. I might, I wonder if I could just muscle something up there, but grey shot. Grey shot. Oh, honestly straight up. I'm going to have to lay up, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's well above my feet. If I have an eight iron and I rip it and I get some hook action going on. <sighs> okay, here we go. Here goes nothing. Hold your breath, pinch your nose. This might smell. Straight out. What a golf shot. Straight out. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I feel a bit embarrassed just like shouting over. Great golf shot. Well out. Great golf shot. I'm going to take the adulation. This is, how hard is this course? Like realistically, four handicapper, what do you think you shoot around here? Oh, like 85, 9. 85, 9. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd be happy to play 9. I honestly think a 20, like a 20 handicapper would be 120s around here. Yeah. Honestly, easily. This is one hell of a false front here. Look at all these divots. You can tell where people go down to. I've got myself about 40 yards. This has got to be precise. Wow. I cannot tell you how well I struck that. Ah, I've missed it a bit. All right, come on, hole out. What a par this would be. That checked up a lot, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, those, those, I honestly struck those two shots unreal. Like, way too well for a bogey. Oh, come on. Can't have another double, right? Just inside, right? Wow. You know, I think I'd be a good poker player. So if you think that's my confident face, then I am unreadable. Much like these greens, when my eyes are on them. That's a good bogey actually in the end. So that puts me to plus seven. Two shots to play with over these next holes. How many holes have got left? Four. Four holes left, only two shots to play with. Right. We have 480 yards. It's powerful, obviously. And I've no choice but to get the driver out. <laughs> Got to fly it over that first bunker. And that's that. Come on. Come on, stealthy baby. Keep cutting. Oh, oh, that's so deep into the rough. I do have a line on that one though. You did step on it. I struck, I actually struck that one okay. That was the first one I struck, all right, well, I'm a driver here. And it's gone right along the uh, line that I was aiming. <laughs> what, what can I complain about, you know? Wow, oh, wow. This is, Kieran, it's, it's chest high. Actually chest high. It's actually chest high. Wow, okay. I did have a line in it as well. But I did realize it was like this. Look at this. Chin eye. Got chin eye grass here. 
Well, if we didn't have this camera, I wouldn't find it. But also at the same time, I honestly don't think I'll be able to get this out of here. <laughs> right, um, Jake, just watch out, mate. I... Oh my God, I think I might have just lost it. Oh no, I've got it. Is that? All right, two club lengths. One, two, unplayable. Thanks for coming. Shall I just give it a whack? Barely. Not even barely. How are you guys doing? You okay? You having a good time? Okay, everyone's having a good time. That's single-handedly the most embarrassing moment I've ever had on a golf course. And I've done some weird stuff, man. I think this is my 10th. I think this might be my 10th shot. Let's go. Let's drive the buggy round. No, I won't check when you strike it like that. You know what? At least we're going to finish the hole. That's good that stuff. It's good stuff. This green is looking beautiful. I'll, I'll just try and get this out of the way, Jake. You know, I'll just <laughs> let me just try and uh, let me just try and get out of your way. This is for a nice little uh, cool twelve, if my maths is correct. Maybe a thirteen. Of course, it misses. Why well, want it? Why would it not? Don't now the drama begins. Uh, 16, 17, 18, incredible closing stretch. And it starts with this, a drivable Par four, like 300 to the front from here. Probably about 350 overall off the back. So just that middle bunker, let it cut. I mean, what a great hole this is going to be, right a cut. This is going to be so good. It's a really good hole to play right after a 13 as well. Surprisingly, I feel like I can probably fly it on there. Ah, just held on to it. Land soft, don't go in the bunker. Straight in, I think. Straight in the trap. Ah, not the worst place to be. Not the best. I can still make a twelve from there. Thirteen. Sorry. Sorry. It was a thirteen, wasn't it? Of course it was. Of course it was. Why wouldn't it be a thirteen? Oh my word! This day is just getting more and more chaotic. I've ended up. I've hit, I've hit the grandstand, like I'm miles away. I thought I was in the bunker. 60 degree, flop shot, down onto the green. 
This is just absolute carnage. Don't be up here in the Ryder Cup. Actually, maybe do. Oh! Wow! Well, there's some good to come out of today. That's my best. That's my best shot of the day. Oh, what the actual hell. Wonderful par. That's a great hole. That's a very good hole. Risk reward. Right. Now, hole in one would just solve everything, right? 170 yards, great little par three. Like a triple Mackenzie green. Oh, an A tank, that pinned right at the front. Just trying to carry it over that wedge. behind it oh, oh. 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 wow that's a dead oh wow oh, I mean, we'll take it what a we shot. will take that oh, oh lift it oh. Oh, oh. Oh, would have been in, would have been in Rome tonight, boys. <laughs> no, that would have been something. I'll well, get this out of the way. Really good too. Thank you. Very first bird, too. first birdie of the day. It'd be good if I didn't have any birdies in one hole in one though, wouldn't it? That'd have been that'd have been a flex. Oh man, I'll take it. What a shot! Love it. What a day, Philly. Here we are. It has all led to this moment, the 18th hole, 500 and gazillion yards down the hill, right to left, dog leg, smash it over the middle bunker, flick it onto the green, hold the eagle put, get out into Rome, six Aperol spritz, please, sir. And let's have a fantastic evening. Literally the best one of the day. Yeah, where the hell's that just come from? I'm ready for another 18. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm really not. Maybe another day. Maybe another day. I'd love to come back. All right, lads, I've got absolutely no chance from here, but why the hell not? 270, down the hill, three wood, out the rough. Just laying up. Yeah, it's always been a wedge, I think, into this green. That's a smart play. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think I think so. Yeah, just like a little floaty one in there. That's cool. Okay, I've got 98 adjusted down the slope. A little 50, just behind the pin. Zip back in. Eagle. Thanks for coming. Love it. Love that. Never are, you know. It's a lot of fun. Boys, thank you so, so much. Thanks for letting us play with you. Yeah, really, really, that was nice to meet you. Thanks for Unbelievable, Ralph. Really, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Very fun. See you at the